Hello and welcome to Crafty Doctor's YouTube channel and today I'm looking at using the keyboard and mouse on the Microsoft Xbox One. So at the end of September Microsoft announced that we're going to add mouse and keyboard support to the Xbox One. They were doing this in partnership uh, with Razer but that does not mean that you cannot use use another manufacturer. So I'm going to be using a Corsair K70 gaming keyboard and I'm also going to be using an M65 Pro Corsair gaming mouse. And just for good measure to give us a comparison, I'm going to use a standard sort of Microsoft Comfort uh, keyboard and mouse combination, wireless combination. So the Corsair is a wired, uh, they're both wired, the keyboard and the mouse. And the Microsoft combination, which is a wireless comfort keyboard and mouse 5000, that is a wireless combination, so both controlled with the standard Microsoft dongle. The games that I'll be trying is Fortnite, Warframe and Minecraft, so please do carry on watching. So on September the 25th, Microsoft released an announcement that they were working in partnership with Razer, which is a gaming PC manufacturer, although they're sort of crossing over now to the consoles, and have been for a while now, but uh, started off with the mouse and keyboard support. So their announcement was basically that they are leaving it up to the developers to support keyboard and mouse within their games. Um, Razer is obviously going to be well supported and I should imagine that any Razer keyboard will work um, really well and should combine and they might even put something in the UI that allows you to change uh, settings within the Razer mouse and keyboard. Uh, so I'm going to try it with a Microsoft keyboard and a Corsair keyboard uh, combination as I've already said. Uh, so I'm just plugging in the Corsair keyboard here, the K70, and you can see straight away it's lighting up, but you would expect that anyway because it's pulling the power from the USB. Um, I'm going to plug the mouse actually into the back of the keyboard, um, so it just stays a chain from the keyboard, but um, I'll try it both ways, but it shouldn't really affect it in any way. So we're going to try it with Fortnite first, but getting back to the announcement, yeah, so they're saying they're working closely with the studios uh, to make the combination of keyboard and mouse when playing games fair, so... In theory, you should only play against people using a keyboard and mouse um, and somebody else playing on an Xbox with keyboard and mouse as well. So now I'm plugged in and moving the mouse around on the, uh, you see there on the Fortnite screen, the mouse is really, really laggy. Uh, this K65 Corsair mouse is uh, usually really responsive, a uh, really good PC mouse, uh, but this is, uh, it'd just be unplayable at this. I mean, it's not even... Uh, I can't even call it lag because it is literally just way behind the mouse pointer. Uh, I will click obviously and get logged in and we'll go into a game and just make sure that it's the same in game and not just at this menu screen uh, because it is a work in progress really um, and they've, although they've introduced the support now it is up to the developers to make sure that the keyboard and mouse uh, work correctly with the games that they're supporting. So um, like I said, we'll get into, anybody who's used to the Fortnite screen, we're used to this front end here, and you can see the, as I'm moving the mouse around this uh, sort of home screen for Fortnite, it is way, way behind. Now, I am connected to the back of the K70 keyboard, Daisy Chain, so I will unplug it from that, uh, just to make sure it's a fair test, and plug it directly into the Xbox. Uh, we'll just go into the side, USB, uh, USB port on the side, and then just see if it's... Uh, works the same see if it's still as, as laggy um, it could be that it's installing drivers um, so we've got to really be, be fair in it that way and just try it with a different combination uh, maybe the Microsoft combination in a minute and just see if it's the same on there but yeah that's uh, absolutely terrible at the moment so it wouldn't even be worth really trying to have a game uh, with it lagging so far behind I'd just get uh, I'm not the best on Fortnite to start with so uh, I just would get caned um, so I'll just speed this bit up here where we're just playing around, but you, you can see it, it is still lagging badly, the mouse, uh, within the menus. Uh, so I'll give it a bit of a time now to try and install any drivers if it was installing. So we'll click on the play icon and we'll, we'll just quickly go into the uh, sort of load screen and, and get into uh, a short match and just see how laggy it is and just see how bad uh, if it's carried across to the game. 
But like I said, I will try the Microsoft one. Um, I'll try that. Um, I'll try both combinations uh, after we finish on Fortnite. I will try it in Warframe, which was the first game to be supported um, for the mouse and keyboard support on an Xbox One. Um, and obviously, there's introducing ones. And I will try at the end uh, um, of the video, I'll try it with Minecraft. Uh, and then just show you some of the menu settings right at the end of the video that you can change. Only a couple in there, but you can access the uh, menus within the Microsoft um, settings page on the Xbox One. You can change the mouse sensitivity uh, and a couple of other things in there as well. So that'll be the end of the video where we'll try Minecraft as well. So anyway, getting back to the Fortnite uh, and this loading screen is just loading into Battle Royale. And let's just see how uh, if it the lag is carried across to the in game as well. And yes, yeah, the the keyboard itself seems to be fine. Uh, it seems to be responsive enough um, when I'm pushing on the keys. Jumps fine. It is literally just the mouse. Just is a million miles behind the actual gameplay itself. So uh, I, don't know, I think it's had a fair time really. If there was any drivers or anything that it was installing, uh, well, I think it's had a fair amount of time. Uh, to install them so yeah really bad and basically unplayable at this stage um, with this kind of setup but like I said earlier it's um, this is a work in progress it only takes a quick driver update uh, and by the time this video uh, that you're watching now is released it might be it might work just fine because um, it might have updated the drivers or um, Xbox might have updated their side, or Fortnite might have updated their drivers for the Xbox One. So anyway, that, that's unplayable, so we'll quit out the game. Let's get rid of the Corsair K70 and the K65 mouse, and let's bring in Microsoft's Comfort Keyboard 5000. This is uh, quite an old keyboard now, keyboard and mouse combination. Uh, but like I say, it's Comfort Keyboard 5000. It's a wireless keyboard and mouse combination control with a uh, little Microsoft wireless dongle. So nothing special, just your run of the mill, basic uh, home keyboard and mouse setup. So I'll plug the uh, little wireless dongle into the left hand USB. So I've not restarted anything at this point, just plugged it directly straight back in. So once Fortnite is loaded up, uh, then we can see how this uh, feels compared to the Corsair combination so hopefully this should be a, a bit more responsive it being a Microsoft product but I suppose it all depends on uh, the stability and the quality of the drivers uh, for the mouse and keyboard that uh, Microsoft have uh, installed uh, in the Xbox One obviously we've just proven that the Corsair one is a bit uh, a bit ropey at the moment with the keyboard working fine uh, the mouse not doing uh, hopefully this Microsoft setup should be uh, a lot more responsive but in the initial just there where I just uh, going through the menus it felt uh, a lot more a lot more quicker than um, definitely than the Corsair setup and and probably playable at this rate a lot more responsive as I'm moving the mouse now with the pointer it is going to where I want it to immediately I'd say there's a slight so delay compared to well, what it's like on the PC and this um, setup looks like it's but the, it is playable at this so when uh, you're in the menu on Fortnite, you can see there just where I've highlighted the red boxes, it does actually show you that you're using keyboard and mouse, and that will be shown on other players as well once you're playing in game. So if I should be playing with people that are using the keyboard and mouse, and it's showing other people that I am using that setup uh, in that section, uh, using the keyboard and mouse setup for Fortnite on the Xbox One. So I'll hit the play icon, and let's just see if we can get into a quick match. And I'm not going to play a match as such. I'm just going to literally just get the beginning screen and just see how responsive it feels. Uh, because obviously we've got that comparison now between the Corsair. Uh, but straight away, uh, as I'm moving the mouse now, it is doing what I'm asking it to, which is surprising when you think this is just a standard PC, home PC, um, wireless keyboard and mouse. I mean, it's even wireless. The Corsair was a direct connection connected with a USB connection. But yeah, a lot more responsive, um, moving as expected. The keyboard's doing what I expected to do, and the mouse is um, obviously really, really good as well. Like I said, maybe not quite as um, responsive as a PC setup, but if you're playing with people on an Xbox One using a keyboard and mouse, and you're being matched to other people, then in theory, you should all be working uh, on a uh, level playing field. 
Uh, that's unless the razor uh, obviously make uh, and there's some stuff that's razor specific to the setup on the Xbox One. Uh, but getting back to this, yeah, you can see that I'm just as I'm gliding in on Fortnite, uh, you can see that as I'm moving back and forth on the keys, it's doing exactly what I expected. There's no great lag at all on it. Um, and the mouse going around, um, looking around the views, it's all, it's all very responsive. So I think our, now we've done Fortnite, we tested Fortnite, I think we should uh, possibly try it on Warframe. Maybe do the two different setups, maybe just try the Microsoft one on Warframe and just see how it is, see if it's responsive enough, see if it's uh, lagging like that initial setup was doing. And we'll also, like I said earlier, we'll check the uh, menu settings within the Xbox uh, One uh, mouse settings in there uh, and just show you where you go just to tweak things in there. So let's get Warframed open uh, and we'll just see how this behaves, if it's responsive. Uh, I'm going to leave the Microsoft keyboard plugged in because this is obviously proven to be the most responsive at this point. But uh, yeah, I've never, never played Warframe, I've just opened this just for, purely for this video. Uh, but it seems responsive enough. Keys are doing what I'm expecting to do on the keyboard. Mouse is responsive, it's not really lagging at all. Um, it's easily playable. Um, within this game I'm not sure if this game's online or, or what it is like I said because I've never really played it but it seems to be fine working okay with the Microsoft Comfort keyboard so I'm just going to uh, push escape let's uh, just shift that keyboard across I do just want to try this and just to prove a point uh, put the Corsair one the keyboard and mouse setup and just see how responsive it is compared to the Microsoft uh, PC keyboard and mouse setup so let's get this gaming keyboard plugged in um, and plug the mouse in as well now I have just plugged the mouse in again I've just daisy chained it again like we did initially and then we'll just see if um, once we get this second cable in we'll just see how the mouse is in the this game Warframe this was one of the first ones to be supported by uh, keyboard and mouse support on the Xbox One so in theory, this should work better, and uh, keyboard's no problem, and actually the mouse is, is responsive enough. Um, so yeah, it's it's proving that possibly that it's a driver issue with Fortnite uh, using this kind of setup, and I would expect Fortnite being what it is, and Xbox also wanting probably to make sure Fortnite is working fine, I would expect the update to be applied pretty rapid like it might already be applied now and it might be working fine um it, it proves that it does work uh that both mice well, I mean, i've got left the wireless in there at the moment i'm just testing it with the mice but so it's working with both keyboard and mouse both of them uh, set up at the moment so yeah it works fine um the more responsive one is the microsoft one um but if you've got a corsair mouse and keyboard setting that you wanted to try on the xbox one i would possibly um stick them in and hopefully microsoft have updated it uh, and it should all be all good. So, like I said, last one I was going to try was Minecraft. This is the new version of Minecraft for the uh, Xbox One. So this isn't the old version. It doesn't work with the old version. Um, so if you're if you haven't updated Minecraft and not put the new version, uh, the new Minecraft version on, uh, then it will not work. So this is the new version of Minecraft uh, that has the keyboard and mouse support built in so let's just click on play i'm using the microsoft mouse there and the corsair and both of them seem okay seem responsive enough so yeah the corsair one seems fine in minecraft uh, the keyboard's easily responsive enough mouse is um doing what i'm asking it to do so yeah it's, it seems that it's an issue without fortnite uh, just this particular m65 mouse because as we've already proven it works fine with the microsoft setup i'll just swap across just move my hand across i've got them both plugged in at the moment so yeah and it still seems fine it still seems responsive maybe the microsoft one is just a touch more responsive um but Sure, in Minecraft it seems that you could use either or really, uh, and in Warframe you could use either the Corsair or the uh, Microsoft one. Okay, so that's all the, the free games that we're going to try, uh, but I will just show you uh, how to get to the settings menu to alter the uh, mouse settings on the Xbox uh, One. So we're just going to go into the 
Xbox One settings menu using the standard Xbox controller. So I'm sure you've been into the settings menu before, but to access this menu, you need to push the home button on your controller and then go across right bumper button, go across to the cog, which is your settings, down one, click on settings. And depending where you are in this menu already, go down to connect and devices, go across to the right hand side and you'll see the new edition mouse, click on mouse. And then within here, you can alter the pointer speed, five being neutral. You can then go to fast by uh, taking the slider up. Most people want it uh, five plus, uh, uses to, especially when you're playing first person shooters, you'd want it to be really pretty quick. You can also switch the primary and secondary mouse buttons if that's the way that you prefer to play. So yeah, that's the Microsoft Xbox One, keyboard and mouse support, and the settings menu. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please do hit the like button below. Please also give us any comments below, good or bad. Welcome all of them to my channel. And if you really did like my channel, please hit the bell icon to get alerts of new videos that I produce for Crafty Doctor's YouTube channel.